Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent Ramblings, episode 04040. And today we're doing My Choice Superheroes. I'm Joey Shamley, your host. We've also got... Paul Honiger. <laughs> it was taking a drink at the time. Kale Anderson. And Daryl George. Come on, you know this happens every time. <laughs> right Here to my right, my right yes. hand man. Yeah. What's up? Right. Not Robin. Not, <laughs> not, not for a surger. <laughs> and today, our sponsor is, of course, because we have superhero, is Superman. We have Whoa. Superman flying dun, dun, around dun, 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 on his hoverboard. Dun, 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 dun. And we did the Whoa. superhero dun, test to dun, find out who we are. Dun, dun, that's later. Dun, dun, that's later. Dun, dun, oh, well, none of us are Aquaman. Dun, dun, this one. Dun, dun, <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, was Aquaman a choice? No. No. No, he wasn't. No, because he's not wasn't there. Did you start the one-minute timer for the introduction? I did. Good job, Daryl. You're uh, you can reach us at show at IamRambling.com. Please write us comments, and don't forget to enter random rambling ideas. They may show up on our next random rambling. Nice. And keep an eye on Facebook, because we're going to have some bells going off. Woo! All right, what's first? Up, um, oh, it's free ramble! Free ramble! Okay. Did, we give, did we give email? Yeah, I did. Okay. Where were you? Never mind. I don't know. Take my I, time was, away. I was talking about Aquaman. It's the fun zone <laughs> with Joey. Hey, All right, my fun zone real quick because I know we're out. I like the fun zone. They uh, had an app where you could time how long you were having fun they, zone. They, they gave an app out where they could time how long you were having sex, and uh, they got all the information back from the U.S. and they did it by state. So, what state do you guys think had the had the longest time having sex? Texas, Alaska, New York. The like, answer like is in one setting. Yeah, the answer is no average for all the people in it. The answer oh. is New Mexico. Hey. Hey. Uh, I guess where it taught us. That's where they buried all at the ET cartridges. At least we're not New Mexico. Like the longest, like how you last, <laughs> or the longest time you've been having. Longest, sex. how long your duration of sex is? We got like at thirty-two. Like we have thirty-two our duration, seconds. No, thirty-two plays. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that much better. <laughs> I thought I was a we're only there. about two minutes and thirty that was, seconds. That was actually two right. minutes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hell. Damn, that's Even the short. highest is only Dude. seven, so. What? what? Think this is Iron average. Man? This is average. Oh, my God. So I'm so bringing the average up, baby. Yeah! I am. Go. This word of the week! Wee. All right, gentlemen, today's word of the week, since it is Olympic, uh, winter Olympic time, is the Jamaican bobsled. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. um, Five guys in a circle jerk. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Is it no four guys for bobsledding, right? It's hey, gotta be four. Like a whole minute. Here. It's gotta be four guys with their butts <laughs> all attached to each other's butts. Oh my! <laughs> and sliding God. down. A You're obsessed with that slide. center pad, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. God. What is it, Paul? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It has to do with ganja. Okay, go on. This is when you have sex when you have anal sex with a woman or man, your choice, at the top of a staircase. Oh, dude! And when you're about to ejaculate, you take their knees out and ride them down the steps like a horse. Oh sled. my god! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow! All, All right. right! All right! Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Brought to you by Keisha. Tick tock. <laughs> All right. What I want to talk about is the new desalinization plant. That is opening in San Diego. I was wondering when they start doing one of those with all the drought yeah, problems. Yeah, and, uh, and that's exactly why they're doing it, because they know that we're going to, here in L.A., are going to steal all the water in this drought, <laughs> and they're going to have none. So anyway, they're uh, investing. Uh, it's 25% complete, and it's uh, twice as effective as the previous versions, and it's going to cost about a billion dollars when they're done. But uh, So it's not even started yet. No, no, it's twenty five percent complete. Oh, 25. You said this. And yeah, uh, it. it'll like give it'll do fifty video. million gallons of fresh water daily. Holy uh, shit! Which will serve about <laughs> three point one million people. Thank you, Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking lot of people. Uh, Dude, what hey, hey. Mark, six twenty five. You know, we, we swear more on this podcast than we do in real life. Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah, I guess big, right. big whoop. No, big, big one! <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Anyway, I think it's about freaking time. Yeah, you're right. That is about freaking time. That was time. pretty good. Okay. All right. Smells like 
science. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Good. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the sniffles, guys. Okay, so um, the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory announced that they managed to use lasers to compress fuel made from two heavier forms of hydrogen than was previously used to kick off a nuclear fusion reaction. And this relates to something in our energy episode that right. I argued with Caleb. Okay, about. so what's the deal? The, the, okay, this is, a, this is a milestone because what happened is they got... Uh, more energy out of the fusion reaction than was absorbed by the fuel. Does that include the lasers? This is the key. Absorbed by the fuel. So the lasers put more energy into the system than was absorbed by the fuel. Okay. But it's a milestone no. in the didn't right direction. did they do direction. that with the other group? That other group no, this didn't is more this recent. This, this is the same group, I think, actually. Wow. It's another little they got, uh, they it's got another un- little incremental step on the way. They got unshut down when the government reopened and, and said, ooh, yeah. let's do stuff. <laughs> Professional wrestler Omar Hurricane said, that's a major turning point in our minds. Said Omar Hurricane, lead author of the paper. I'm just kidding about the pro wrestler part. But that's his name, though. Omar I, I was going to say, from each of your science things, you can look up quotes from people who, mat- <laughs> mean, who matter not at all. Right. That would be pretty freaky. Well, the guy's right. name is awesome. Now, th- what you said about it being like a baby step in the right direction, yeah. that's typically how science works. So, you know, this fusion stuff is probably still pretty far off. Yeah. Getting well, they've been incrementally working on it for like decades. But this now. is the thing. If you assumed uh, perfect efficiency of the lasers heating the fuel and perfect efficiency of collecting the energy, then we're in the positive right now. Right. However, those two things are unrealistic, so right. you still have to get enough of a difference to account for the inefficiencies. Holy crap, West Virginia right. is only five minutes uh, and I should have, I should have and, dinged. And five but, minutes? But that was... Ding! But that was... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to roll back my timer. But that was that. that was second place. First place is seven minutes. Second. Okay, ding. New section. <laughs> Last place is Alaska with 121. Okay, uh, today's episode is all about superheroes, and we're going to we're going right? what? Yeah, one minute. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, all sorts of things like their origins, uh, who, what we think about superheroes, the popular superheroes, uh, how superheroes in the media now, and all sorts of fun. Dumb. All the cool things, things about uh, superheroes. Well, yeah, uh, because it has become a huge part of the media, especially in the past couple of years. We've always been superhero fans since Superman the movie, and you know we <laughs> were younger. Dude, <laughs> I was a super- don't do that to Marty and Doc. I mean Superman. <laughs> Ever Come since on. episode one, I mean comic one of X Men, that's when I've been a superhero wow. fan. See, and so, but now they're really in pop culture, especially in the last ten years, and so uh, it's kind of exciting. And I think a good topic to talk about, not just in the fiction, but in the nonfiction. I wasn't as well. a superhero fan at the beginning. I I liked Transformers and G.I. Joe, but superheroes were too fake to me, oh. believe it or not. Interesting. Okay, our first uh, place to go it? is the superhero myth, uh, where it came from, the journey of the hero, a.k.a. superhero, how important uh, are origin stories, and do most superheroes follow patterns? So let's start, first of all, with where did the superhero come from? I mean, obviously, it starts with the Action hero's journey. Number 34, was well, it? Well, but even, even, even before, before that. Before, I mean, you think of, like, like uh, the the Greek gods and right, stuff, right? Yeah, the, the gods and all the that. Shadow. They could be like, <laughs> even <laughs> even. The, yes, going way back. The I'm, I'm back no, in no, the twenties. No, no. <laughs> <Yeah. So, laughs> yeah. Radio drama. The Great Gatsby. Oh, Hercules was probably one. That's of what movies. I was going to say. Hercules because a god. Ooh, a god Gladiator. wasn't so much of a super- Hercules. <laughs> wasn't so much of a superhero because they were gods. Right. But hey, Hercules slow was part. Down. We do have three minutes or four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. But <laughs> but okay. we got to hit... Like, talking fast. <sighs> Not so fast. But that's what we're I do. excited. Okay. All right. Okay, we're excited. <laughs> but superheroes, I mean, the, the, the half-gods, like Hercules, they're the ones the who had weaknesses. Right. So I think that's part of the journey. You can't have an all-powerful superhero. And Unless even though, it's Superman. Well, Daryl, but once again, I disagree. I don't think Superman is all-powerful. He's no. physically all-powerful. He's, but, got, he's got a weakness. But that's not even what I'm talking about. He's got an Achilles heel. Superman, yeah. Superman's Speaking issue. Green Rock. Apology. Yeah, but no. Superman's <laughs> issue is Dude, that. Dude, that Green Rock, it's a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Mark it. Can you imagine Superman saying that? <laughs> a damn green rock. <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch! <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary. Okay, so the thing about Superman is he is, uh, he wants to be human. He lives with humans, and yet he can't be. He's trying to be, he's trying to stop himself from being basically the bad guy, because he can do whatever he wants, but how does he, and he has fit in with humans? Heart. 
Yeah. He wants to save everybody. He can't. And that and yeah, things like that's a, that's that because he, he knows somebody and he the, that he's not going to ejaculate and blow off their exactly. Heads. He's got the realm well. complex because you know she can't touch anyone because she'll <laughs> break the sound powers. barrier. Yeah. And he can't do anyone because he would freaking kill them. I think he's projectile. Did Wonder Woman super in one of the He can do Wonder Woman. She's yeah. powerful like that. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I've well, seen and then that if porn. you go by the movies, you know they <laughs> Lois Lane got. Well, that's a spoiler. No, he turned into human. Yeah, that's that why. Yeah. Oh, he turned like, into human. Remember the oh, little room? Oh, the red lights were out Oh, okay. Here. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, good thing you explained that. She want, and good thing you said him you ripped that thing off your again. chest and <laughs> threw it at me. It was a minor inconvenience. Okay. So I guess that was Wait. the first thing. Like, as soon as he was human, he was like, hey, baby. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we're talking about the hero's journey and Superman. So the hero's journey, usually a superhero has weakness of some sort because otherwise it would be boring. There needs to be some drama in the superhero. So uh, what else comes into play? Is there always going to be some sort of journey uh, or origin stories are always important? And and they're kind of the well, beginning of the journey. And sometimes the comic doesn't start at the origin, though. It's always, no, There's always a lot of backtracking. I, I think I don't, I don't like when it starts with the origin story like because I like... Mm. Um, Oh, Wolverine. The yeah. mystery behind it. Yeah, that was yeah. always <clears throat> and writing. You can, you know, you could really play off in your writing on like, you know, hinting what happened before. Because I always approached Wolverine from his point of view because he had the amnesia about his origins. Mm -hmm. So Wolverine. then they covered it in the occasional flashback and just kind of like some and the story built up, which is right. kind of neat. Right, so it was a lot of mystery leading up to, oh, yeah. Well, and Wolverine wasn't even supposed to be a superhero. He was going to be just somebody who Hulk fought, you know, in that, right. the yeah. first episode. So it's interesting how a he lot He was of, like the Boba Fett of the Yeah, yeah. Marvel yeah. Marvel but he actually universe. became, you know, more or less a good guy. Yeah. And it's always interesting, uh, especially in comics. Well, then you again, have Hulk that, isn't necessarily a good guy either. Uh, that's true. Is, you know, I think he... They're both anti-heroes. I don't remember why he was fighting the Hulk, but it was probably to protect someone uh, it was, in Canada. It was, yeah. yeah, he was part of the Canadian... Brit squad. Uh, Royal squad. Royal squad. And he was sent up there the to... The Alphas or something like that? Yeah. He wasn't Canadian part group. of Alpha Flight. Yeah, though, not Alpha but, Flight, but it was whatever their... But you have that right. FBI, Canadian. whatever, CIA. He was sent up there to, yeah. to kill them. Notes. So <coughs> he was sent up there to do their dirty work. Oh, yeah. Dirty work. Okay, <laughs> next up is what makes a superhero. So this kind of goes into it, because Hulk and Wolverine superheroes? Yes, no. Uh, right. What attributes does a superhero have? And do you have any... Do you have to have superpowers to be a superhero? Paul so will I, read. Yes. I, I, was, I was reading through all kinds of stuff at work today. And this is from Psychology Today. And this one guy's article has a really Ooh. nice definition. I remember that video. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Pika! <laughs> it's a broad definition. It's someone who manifests a super ability or superpower and generally acts heroically, is brave, and self-sacrificing. Hmm. So no, that's pretty psychology. I have, I have kind of yes. a, my own definition about how I would qualify it. Like, in some ways, Batman is almost not quite a superhero, even though he kind of has a lot of the trademarks. But the thing is, he doesn't have superpowers, Pretty and that's why. That's how I would differentiate between, say, like someone who's um, like, say, James Bond 007, uh. not a superhero, but a person with superhuman skills, right? Okay. Uh, and maybe some superhuman abilities in terms of intellectual. Then why is the Batman? Right? But then, you know, is like it the, the suit? Is it the gadgets? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's almost like in between. Because I think, like, the what I qualify then as superhero. Then you would qualify be, Iron Man in that same category, then? No. Yeah, because he has superhuman engineering skills. And that's kind of like oh, Batman. Does. Because know. he has superhuman intelligence. He's a mutant, you know? He's, he's not mutated. A mutant. Like, is he really? No. Yeah, no, he's supposed he's to be a mutant. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, he's a mutant because of his intellect. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, that was I, real! <laughs> Holy crap! That All right, fine. <laughs> I never remember I never that. that either. All right. I thought he was just a regular <laughs> super I thought it, genius. I thought it was a you know, game. we'll look it up. Check show notes. Okay. But uh, so that, but that's interesting. Anyway, what you're saying though is there's a line between uh, superhuman powers and abilities versus super skills. Right. right? Super but, skills makes an action hero, in other words. But are or super, super skills spy or more like super that. than just regular skills? Well, yeah, that's because like most most action, whatever it is, if it's you know. Literary or, or movies okay, or so TV. he has like extraordinary. They skills. have they have extraordinary. I think above human level. I think you brought usually. something. How do we separate Batman and Iron Man from James Bond? Because right. costume. I guess because they have the cool, powerful suits. Yeah, the the suit makes a big difference, and, I and also the costume. It's it's part of like the costume makes a superhero from the yeah. comics, that kind of thing. So, which is interesting that so the, it's creators, a genre. the creators of Wolverine said they didn't want the claws to be in the the gloves because they wanted it to be part of him. Right. Yeah. So that kind of makes sense too. That makes him more of a superhero, but also he's got the mutant superhero healing abilities. 
So, you know, he actually is a mutant. He wasn't just given adamantium skeleton and claws. He no, he was already a superhuman yeah. healing. Right. right. So, if you, I think you can, you can say a superhero, if you can be augmented, augmented, augmented to being a superhuman. Because if you think right. about it, even with Batman, that's kind of what his gadgets do. They augment him to become superhuman. James yeah. Bond doesn't focus so much on that. James Bond focuses more on his skills. On like, dodging bullets. Well, getting so like, lucky yeah. with bullets is <laughs> right. more like right. it. Oh, dude, he gets lucky with bullets and the Bond woman. Yeah! Oh, uh-huh. Sometimes at the same time. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, um, awesome poppers, I think, right? I think, and we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, machete kills. <laughs> right, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bullet. That was great. Um, bullet jubbly or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, so you don't have to have superpowers necessarily, but you have to have super abilities from something. Yeah. And, and I you think, have to use it for good. I think that's and that's what we're going to move into next too. Or the thing is, your villain. powers can come from exactly. yeah. radiation blasts or being dunked yeah. in toxic waste. Or it can be a suit. The same thing about you're villains. manipulated in some. Point. Say the same thing about villains. Right, so what makes yeah. a supervillain a superhero? A villain by his toxic accident. Yeah, whatever. like the Joker. Yeah. The Joker isn't... Well, that moves into the next one because okay. the next part is, is it acceptable for superheroes to be vigilantes? So let's let's bring this into the, what you're saying. Oh, the Punisher. The, the, the difference between a supervillain and a superhero. A supervillain, on one side, we could say the Joker, Lex Luthor, or whatever you want to say. They've got these super abilities, right. but they use them for evil, so to speak, mm-hmm. selfish means. And then the superhero is more uh, selfless. Will you allow me, because you guys can have most of the section, but I do want to have the beginning where I can go on a little Please DC do. versus Marvel rant here. Go for it. Please do. DC villains, I think, usually, at least up until maybe the 90s or something, they usually had kind of weak reasons for wanting to be evil. Like Lex Luthor is like, you made my hair fall out. No, <laughs> kill everyone, you know. So Small the thing is like, Smallville did a better job. Okay, but I yeah. mean, the thing is like, I always found their reasoning kind of weak. Now the thing that was kind of cool about the Marvel universe is that there's this whole mutants versus ordinary people thing going on, and a lot of the mutant villains in that storyline were all like, we're a superior class of people, therefore mm-hmm. we want to be. Like, we want to run things. Right, like, like so they were to take, That's why he... Right. Well, he was so it made a more that, interesting yeah. and more compelling villain because they actually had some sort of reasoning on their side that wasn't just, I'm going to be evil for evil's sake. Yeah, well, and even Magneto was doing it as a, as a like, a, a vengeance, um, a thing like, you know, they're not going to ever accept me, so I'm right, going yeah, to exactly. not accept them. And yeah, it's, because, it's, you know, they... racism and yeah, oppression. Yeah, he, he has the background of what happened in Germany <laughs> with his... You know, yeah, but you were mentioned at the beginning, the guy who rides the... The line and goes over yeah. it all the time is Bob the Punisher, right? Okay, well, the then let's Punisher. get into that now. Now let's look at the line. The line being, where are you a superhero and where? Why is Punisher? Because I think he's the one that really rides the line the most. Why is he not a supervillain? Dude, he Jamaican bobsleds the line. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's that's what I was trying to say. Right. It's because he if he has any <clears throat> inkling that you're a bad guy, you're dead, and and so he is the judge and jury completely. And so, even if he, some of his kills, which have been shown in the comic, to be wrong, mm-hmm. it's like, to him, it's collateral damage. Well, I'm doing a hell of a lot more good. I guess that's yeah, the way you look at it. He's not killing good people if no, he's just good. He's in not his seeking mind. him out. He's not doing this for joy. But then... Out, but, of, a, out of, like, to, let, I want to blow doing it out Disneyland. Of, but then, but it's well, classic, it you vengeance. killed my for family and I'm going to kill It's still guys. based on his opinion of bad. So what if you get mm-hmm. a guy who's bad, who thinks everybody's good is bad, then he's... Yeah, you know what like, I'm saying there? What's that, Mr. Yeah. Glass or something from uh, Un- Unbreakable? Which they're thinking about doing a sequel to because superheroes are so popular now, which mm. would be awesome. I remember that movie. Morgan! <laughs> 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 How's the new Batmobile? <laughs> so, uh, the, the question then is, is it up to your opinion? I mean, if you're not, if you think you're helping the greater good, the greater good. <clears throat> well, it's 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 whatever rules. Like we as a society have set down our rules for cops. Of okay, if the guy shoots back at you, you now can shoot him, and if you kill him, it's okay. But if he just if he picks up the gun and it looks like he's going to, but never pulls the gun out, you can't shoot and kill him. That's so, a, not a good. So kill. I think the well, Punisher is really killing people who are is society would consider so bad. The Marvel for the most thing part. Most part. touched yeah. upon what you're getting at that. There were a lot more shades of gray in the Marvel universe. Like yeah. DC was older, and it came from the more traditional good versus right, evil wrong, kind yeah. of thing. But then there were a lot of uh, 
shades of gray, uh, even 50 of them, in the mm-hmm. Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. That was bad. Mm-hmm. It's okay. But, forgive me. But even if you think about it, like, like superheroes are breaking the law. Right. I mean, you got Spider-Man going in and capturing burglars or whatever. Breaking the law. He's not the law. The law. Right, and it's all vigil, and it comes down to the vigilante thing. Been, and yeah. it so really, superheroes like, are vigilantes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Was that real? No. Okay. No, no, no. All right, uh... <laughs> So, let's move on to comic books. Now, this is kind of what Daryl was saying. The big separation, uh, the original, the OG, was Superman. He he uh, was comic books in the DC Universe, and then Batman kind of was the next one. The DC Universe was always uh, more related at the beginning to, like, the Sunday morning comics, because, you know, and the kid comics, because that's where it really started from. And like you said, the good versus evil. And then Marvel came along, and their big thing was uh, Fantastic Four and X... Which came first? Fantastic Four, right? uh, Fantastic Four. The Hulk, Fantastic Four, Iron Mm -hmm. Man, Captain America. The The Avengers. Avengers, yeah. Avengers, yeah. Yeah. uh, X-Men didn't come out until, like, the 60s. Right. And they... I think... I don't don't know the, the, the... and um, Iron Man too. Behind the scenes story or the? No, he was earlier. Mm-hmm. That's right because yeah. he. I don't know the origin story of Marvel, but I'm assuming they wanted to do a more adult version <laughs> of what Superman and Batman were, or maybe at the time was Superman and Batman already becoming more. Uh, well, yeah, because Iron Man lifts a lot from the the Batman ethos, mm. and um, yeah. I don't know, who's their equivalent? I guess Spider Man's a lot like yeah, he is a lot like Superman, Superman because yeah. they're both reporters or they work at yeah, a newspaper and, 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 and stuff like that. Well, well, he is really what strong, really made the kind comics of kind of grow up is when they hit the Second World War, a lot of the comics yeah. uh, heroes fought against the Nazis in yeah. the in the yeah, war. The so yeah. it's it's get a little more adult. And I bet <laughs> that that, that's and probably the comics were also the soldiers across the sea were probably, you know, had comics as well and so they maybe started getting more of an adult. Well, Captain America directly, you know. Yeah, and and then that. and so uh, then we get into the you know our childhood and uh, comics. Uh, Seventy five cents. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. No tax. And then uh, I remember there was the big push for the really nicer comics, and they got more expensive. And then what was it? Image, the new company. Yeah, there, yeah. there was a whole Image probably about nineteen eighty cool nine to ninety. Four. So probably 89, I think it started. You started to see a lot more um, uh, variant covers. So you'd get like yeah. the die cut ones, the hologram or the, yeah. the, the foil covers and stuff. They and really started 90s, with when, the covers. When Image started, um, the third company, it went huge with, with alternate covers and stuff. And they were go- definitely going for a more adult version because, you know, there's yeah. they were not the regular superheroes like Spawn. I mean, that's yeah. basically a demon <laughs> who's more or less superhero. I've got... Ooh, issue number one, which probably isn't worth anything now, but it was at the time. No. It was funny because Image Comics got really expensive, and you know, uh, but they were different types of heroes, which was very interesting. Um, I remember there were a few uh, like smaller independent publications that had the more expensive comics on better Valiant, paper. Va- um, I can't Varian. think of them by name right now. I remember the Grendel series and uh-huh. some other ones, um, but uh, you know. It, Dark Horse. Probably. I was going to say Dark, Dark Horse, Horse was right, a real right. one I liked a lot. There were a few yeah. before that, too. I think that that probably brought Star bringing superheroes in the mainstream because comics were becoming a, a big deal. And we had had superhero movies before and TV shows before, but they weren't as going to be as big as they started to get in it the late too, 90s and 2000s. It got too big, though. There were so many variations of the X-Men. And yeah. so many like like Wildcats and Gen thirteen. Oh yeah, image. it was just seriously one of the things. All that, the guys that made X Men and all that are now making this. One of the things that got on my nerves was like how often characters would die and then get resurrected somehow, or they come back as something different. Like, um, I know they wanted to go for more diversity, but Psylocke turned from an English woman into an yeah, Asian yeah. They, no they put her reason. brain. They put <laughs> her brain in um, the yeah. Asian girl. Yeah. yeah, this is bizarre. But I mean, I understand why they made that move because already the makeup of the whole team. Yeah, was because she was they were, they were drawing white, a hot you know? chick with big right. boobs. Right. That's what it was. It was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Rob Liefeld. Uh, so yeah. it moved, let's move over now to superheroes TV and live action. Well, even cartoons. I mean, when we were kids, Super oh, Friends yeah, Super was Friends. huge. You know. On TV, but it was you know it was DC heroes and they you know Wonder Twin powers activate and everything and Gleek the monkey. Comico comics. Oh, was comico. one of the ones I was trying to think of. So I, I watch a lot of old old ones with Logan. We'll watch the old um, Fantastic Four um, that came out like during the Spider Man time. Yeah. Amazing Spider Man. Yeah. And interesting because superheroes outside of comics on TV 
when we were young was kind of doing the same thing the comics was doing, but it was behind the behind it a little bit. Where in the '80s, superheroes on TV was kids. You didn't watch anything on TV right. that was superheroes. Uh, even and even like well, most, there was the Hulk, Incredible Hulk, Incredible Hulk, yeah. yeah. But that was almost even more of a drama, almost. Yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't so much focused on on the superhero you, aspect. You had you had a real man. story and a, and a depth <laughs> to to the story, and then you had the Hulk come out and kick ass every episode. And so the, that was kind of fun. I remember Superman came out in the black and white. Yeah, or, well, yeah, way back when uh, there was the original Reeves. Superman. And because Superman was pretty big. When his flying was basically just the sound. Oh, I remember. Yeah. 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 And, when, and when they shot him, he, he deflected. When they threw the gun at him, he ducked. What about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's also the Batman Batman, series. oh, yeah. Adam that, West. Oh, God, that, uh, that's <laughs> comedy. Yeah, that, that has to be. But, but you know what? The comics comedy. were like But I loved it same, when I was a kid. I loved watching But that's it. just exactly it. Even that Superman black and white was for kids. You know, yeah. it was something right. for kids. And then what ha- starts happening in the 90s, uh, and it might have something to do also with the technology starts getting better, is you start to see superheroes stuff become a little bit more mainstream. And then by the 2000s, you're looking at, um, you know, X-Men movies, you're looking at... Uh, Spider-Man. Spider- oh, oh. Dude! <laughs> well, 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 Don't turn the bell up, just do your freaking... Think of the correlation that goes with that. <laughs> that was kind of carbonated. It was very kiddy, like when we were kids. Yeah, and it's very adult, like when we're adults. Mm-hmm. We're the ones making the movies. Yeah, our age, right? Our yeah. generation. I mean, what That's was kind of like the, all the comic books grew up with the people reading. Yeah, them. exactly. Yeah, and so Spider Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rub that. Sorry. Um, Spider Man. Make sure there's not water in there. So the first big movies were Spider Man and um, Superman. And no, 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 well, Superman in the eighties. Yeah, but, but the in this, new? this new resur- resurgence. Oh, the movie that changed everything the, was X Men. Was X Men? That okay. was in two thousand. X Men yeah. and Spider Man two. Spider Man uh, was two thousand two. Because that was the first kind of like gritty uh, take on X Men. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was. Yeah, and that, then, that, and then that it set a like new it really template. Got, it really got it. cemented with Batman Begins because that really yeah. turned it gritty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was like, like X Men took it halfway maybe, and then and yeah, 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 because before X Men you figure there was like Batman and Robin, and also this whole with, idea. Oh, of oh, oh my god! Yeah, you know? <laughs> and the, the the rather surprisingly <laughs> successful nice. attempt to kind of ground it in reality. You know, yeah. like X Men started doing that where it's like, okay, let's just assume that people are born with these mutations. What would it really be like? And they did a pretty good job with that. Then Batman Begins comes uh, comes out and is like, okay, so what if Batman were actually real? How would he obtain his technology? Mm-hmm. How would he get his training? And they and kind the, of approached that all in a very they did know, a great job. And then the Dark Knight way. had a, had an amazing realistic villain with the mm-hmm. Joker. You could see somebody crazy like that who was who really was insane. Yeah, and, and then and then they did brilliant performance. It was mm-hmm. so awesome. And then and then. Like uh, uh, apparently, uh, who who directed those? The series? No, Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan had a stroke, and he did part three. Yeah, <laughs> Batman. And so did forever. Hi, Batman. I'm Morgan. No, I'm Batman. Drop a beat. Yeah. <laughs> you, you suck. And then I kill you perfectly in this airplane falling down, <laughs> pulling it. <laughs> okay, and TV. Got to mention Smallville, which was awesome. I right, standing stands. Because I want to go into Smallville. Two minutes. Two minutes. Um, Smallville was the backstory of Superman, and Kale and I watched a lot of it. He ended up stopping because it got crappy. I didn't watch like the last couple of years. Because a lot of Lang. Yeah, but they did an awesome job of really making it like the backstory. Lex Luthor being played as his friend. It was it was superb. Uh, As they started going further, they always had good episodes, but they also had crappy episodes, too. And that's, Kale, why you stopped watching. Well, they just got too... He just wanted to touch Lana. The final one was actually really good, and what I'm going to do for you... You haven't seen it yet, right? I'm going to edit the crap out. Okay. And I'm going to show you the cool parts of it. I would love it. Because I think it was a two-hour one or something like that. Can you do that with Lost for me? Okay, don't say anything because I still haven't watched Lost. Right. Okay, I, I'm well, trying I so hard. That. Okay, trying so hard not to know I the I watched end. the first year and then they lost me. It was like, anyway, yeah, that's... Does anybody ever ask you about what we do on Thursday nights here? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I keep too fearing that it's going to happen <laughs> yeah. today. So, um, Kale has his male friends over. They're all like, I'll tell you what I do, but first you have to come to the top of the stairs with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You guys remember The Flash, though? That was, I thought that was pretty oh, good. Yeah. The sh- TV show? I hear it's show. coming back, too. Um, well, it was really... I thought they did a great job of it, of like explaining why 
he had his weaknesses and and how he came about. I thought that was pretty. And you know good. the Spider Man from the seventies eighties. If you ever get a chance to look at that, it's oh, so yeah. horrible. They spent ten minutes with him just climbing. Uh-huh. Like around in circles on the wall because it was such a cool effect. Oh my god, it's horrible. I'll try to find a good <laughs> no, show. Um, I think the guy who did Wizard of Speed and Time could have done a better job with the Flash. <laughs> yeah, yeah awesome. no. Um, awesome. Lois and Clark was interesting because that you know that was trying no, to be super. Wasn't. Their expedition was awesome. That was yeah. that was. That was Lois and Clark was Dawson's Creek version I of Superman. It. I I, like I don't it. remember it too. Uh, I remember not getting it because I was like, how can Superman be in the eighties? Because in my mind, from what I see, fifties. You know? Uh, so right. like why why do they have a minivan? Okay, um <laughs> It was a fifties minivan. Okay, other high tech back uh, other aspects <laughs> of uh <laughs> other aspects of superheroes in uh oh, media. God. Video games. How many Roll. sit in the back? <laughs> Five. Five. Five in the back. One in the back. Okay. Two in the front. Two in the front. Oh, no. I watched last week. No, two the weeks ago. It was against the law. Word of the week. <laughs> what was it called again? Oh, the, the minivan. The minivan. The minivan. Oh, God. Um, okay. Other aspects of superheroes in media. Sure Video games. Uh, Role playing. Uh, merchandising. Yeah, I like figures. to dress up with you know, the girlfriend and everything sometimes. Oh, we'll get to that later. Oh, okay. But no, MMR, MMO. Uh, role play was, was a big, big part of uh, my childhood. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> but in high school, we played Marvel. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. with Jared and everybody. That was, was a lot was of fun. You could make your own superhero. Make your own superhero, and um, you could pick your powers and stuff. Basically, it's it's D and D for yeah. Marvel Dungeons universe. It had, a, it had a pretty interesting set of rules and everything. Yeah. I kind of like the system. Um, and then there was. Uh, if we go quickly into merchandise, well, let's go to video games real quick. Oh, video any, games. Any there was that good one called. Um... <laughs> yeah. Trying to pass gas. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Okay. What, I did like the X Men it... arcade game when you played like the four people. Yeah, that was I mean, cool. That was, that was like, what I was thinking. That was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's all the same that. game. That yeah, fun. but it was just pass the time. Has but... anybody tried the online one, the DC World or whatever it is, or Marvel no. World? No. I wonder if that's any good. They say it's. Free. I wanted. I wanted to talk if we're in since we're in this area of of what. We are hoping will be uh, superhero, uh, maybe not even games, but being in a superhero world on a, vir- a full immersion virtual reality. That would be cool, and you could use your powers. Like, right, right. You we were could, talking about the VR thing that Right, the works. Oculus Rift. Imagine right. you could be like, just kind of do this movement where you go like this, and you fly. Right. That right. Would be, oh, and you can control your... Oh, that'd be so or cool. Or just lucid dream as a superhero. So oh, that's how many true. times do you fly in a dream? Yeah, yeah so. it's, it's and it or feels you, awesome in your dream. I always seem to absorb hover. other people's souls and superpowers. For me, I them. seem to hover. I don't know why, and oh, I yeah. always seem to rethink it's easy to do, and I just like lift my legs off the ground and I'm just hovering. There. Or you can just mm. jump really high. Uh, what, yeah. about, what about what uh, about merchandising? Whoa, 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 whoa. Action figures became uh, really popular in the last ten years. Now they're not well, quite as popular. In the seventies. 70s, they oh, had yeah. the, uh, the what, you, what are those called? Like the Mego or Mecco? Oh, uh, Toy Hunter talks the, about the them all the time. Ones. The cloth Wait, ones. Mecco? Yeah. Was it? No, is it's that like the Star Wars the Star Mecco? <laughs> I know, it's like, <laughs> no, it's a name of the what doll a, they would make. Uh, uh, action yeah. figure. I don't know what it's called, but it's uh, got an O at the end. I think you're right. But yeah, and then in the 90s they got really popular. Uh, yeah, the X Men cartoon yeah. um, launched the whole X Men um, action figures. And yeah. Marvel characters are pretty popular now uh, for collecting. More or less. But by the way, if we didn't mention it, most uh, superhero video games suck. Just in case you didn't catch that, oh, we yeah. kind of skipped it, I think. And why is that, Daryl? Why do you think that? Because uh, I think they're focused more on making money off of the license than developing a good, solid that's, game. That's yeah, that, you know that makes sense to me because mm-hmm. I've I've never even really seen a superhero game except the Super. one Paul mentioned that I did play that in the arcade. But that was basically yeah. you beating up people. Yeah, it's yeah. just passing time while right. you're bowling or something. And the, you know they based that on a game engine that already existed. Like they made a Simpsons game that's relatively yeah. the same, like the same where you thing. Beat up everything. Yeah. Uh, but then you know, like when it comes to um, yeah, a lot of licensed movies and stuff, the games typically are kind of sad. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. I, one game that I've heard that's superhero based, but it's not based on regular superheroes, is called City of Heroes. That one's an oh, online yeah. RPG that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I've seen that advertised, and every yeah. once in a while, I almost went there. You yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> but I like, it seems like you know, because they, because they didn't license a bunch of superheroes, they kind of like mimicked DC and Marvel, oh, and therefore spent more time right. making a solid game. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, go into the possibility of reality here, the science of superheroes. Well, we'll look at this in two respects. One respect is uh, 
you know, could superheroes, re- does the science work in the fiction? And nope. secondly, <laughs> can the, uh, can, what is the possibility of real superheroes? There was superheroes? a talk at Caltech on Sunday about this, wasn't there? And, and we, we somebody was supposed to go to it, yeah. but they didn't. Damn it. it would have been good timing. Yeah. Incoherent. Well, usually the science superheroes is pretty bad, but uh, the bra- uh, when Spider-Man kills Gwen Stacy off, that was at least pretty good. There was four books on mm-hmm. Audible about huh? the science of superheroes. When she breaks his and when I he breaks didn't her back. Oh, right. any of, of the, them. Right, that's true. And I was thinking I should have oh, done that. I, thought you know? you the, I know. Yeah, in the comic, when, when she's yeah, falling, when he, he tries to rescue her, and the, the, they do some physics, and her back breaks. And she yeah. Died. Yeah. So every once in a while, they right. do put it in there. But, you know, it's like on the Big Bang Theory where they're arguing about uh, on the Superman movie where... If if uh, if he would have caught Lois Lane when he fall, when she falls off, she would have it would have been like two, uh, what is, what is, two <laughs> three <laughs> chunks of girders. Person, it yeah. would have been three Lois Lane just you know falling uh, through the yeah. arms. Well, I think um, spinning the earth backwards to go back in time. Well, oh yeah, gosh, was, that's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things that I hear is like an argument, and it kind of does make sense. Is if you think in the wider scope of things, like okay, uh, Spider Man on his own, or uh, Peter Parker, I should say develops this webbing that can shoot from his wrist. Now, it must be some super foam that can, like, expand and then stronger than steel. It sticks to things, yet he can detach from it when he needs to. It's got all these really cool properties, and it's like, okay, so why isn't he selling that to the military or using it for something useful? And then it's even worse with Tony Stark. Well, he's using it for... Okay, he's got this, like, power source that can deliver almost unlimited energy why isn't he saying hey world free energy for everyone well that's kind of what he does in the movie remember he does a a whole big arc thing in the avengers that's for free power but no you've got a point but also to speak into that uh like with um peter parker well it's kind of the superhero complex like he doesn't want to put it out there because the villains will use it and he knows that he can keep it and he can use it for good right so you got to kind of think in in a superhero world that there's well because uncle ben told him with Great power, power comes great responsibility. But then, if you're if you're um, if you believe that the uh, majority of humanity is altruistic, more so than villainistic, you could just say, okay, this is a new technology that can be put to just good take or one. ill. Just takes one. Just takes one. Just take one to be a bad villain. Just that doesn't matter for the majority. Don't you dare <laughs> fart, you <laughs> bastard! The sequel. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, that was the. Let's sequel. talk about superheroes <laughs> in reality. Uh, Stan Stan Lee did a, a show. He's still doing it, I think, called uh, Real Super. I don't oh, know. what's it? Called? The Nerd Show. He's not doing it anymore. Oh, he's not. He no. did like two. Se- I haven't seen the second season, but it was really great because. Um, it was a superhero competition where real people went Not competition, they just saw Donut him Donut Lady or something? They mm-hmm. just found him. I'm not talking about the superhero competition Oh, one. that's the one I thought you were talking no, about. No, 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 you should get to that next, and you might want to accept I've it. I've seen it, I've seen that. But the Stan Lee one, he actually sends this guy out to go find real superheroes in life. Right, And I've they actually that. found that some of them aren't really super, but some of them are. And, like, the one guy I think that could be the most superhero is he can conduct electricity, and it doesn't kill him. And so he can wear, like, a huge, di- you know, thing that charges mm-hmm. on him. He can hold it. And then he just touches things to, like, touch his villains, and it would right. shock him to death. The like, guy he that I thought work. was cool, and it was a superpower, but it's not enough to make mm-hmm. him really, like, could be a superhero, is the guy, you remember the guy who could tear the, was tearing the phone yeah. stick in half? He was bending steel and stuff, and they, I remember they that. hooked him all up and measured him, and what it is, is that he has... Extend? Extends. All right. He has extended. Yeah, it extends. <laughs> that his muscles... You know, you have two oh, types of right. muscle. Yeah. You have uh, slow twitch and fast twitch. Well, he has, like, ultra-fast twitch muscles, which means I, I his fast which, move. I know which one's in my pants. <laughs> slow twitch, I know. No, there we go! Oh, <laughs> I, I just got dissed for my <laughs> kind of joke. Wow. <laughs> I will never forgive you for that one. All right. Good. I'm going to waste the rest of your time. Would it, be better, to, wait, yes, would it be better to say fast? Wait, uh, yes, fast uh, Either way, it's bad, wait, isn't no, it? Bring up the average anymore. Extend. Oh. New Mexico! <laughs> okay, anyway, so his muscles actually move faster than no, than most anybody's, oh. and because of that, he's able to do more your, feats of strength yeah. than other people. So what, well, See, then I want fast twitch down there. Okay, what, uh, what about that other thing you were talking about, the group that actually goes out and does superhero stuff? Well, didn't you already have a place for that down on lower? Yeah, but the people here are talking... Oh, no, this is it. Are you sure? Where are we at? 
We're at Science of Superheroes. Superheroes. Nope, it's lower than that. We're wasting time. That's where we're at. Well, we're mm. unless you, you want to talk about it now. No, okay. Well, uh, uh, we'll talk about that other show. What was that other show that where they tried to find a superhero? Yeah. See, look, it's the second to last one. Oh, okay. Point taken. Oh, okay. Now other show. The other, other show. Oh, the other show where he had a competition, competition where he had all these uh, regular people who made up their own costumes and came and competed to be the best superhero I wanted to see who that, was going to, at it. the end of it, get his own comic book, get his own merchandising, mm. and was going to kind of like represent Marvel going out as a real superhero. Represent! Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I wanted to see that. You that's said it was nerds. really good, right? I liked the competition. It really was cool. Okay. Um, so wait, this group that we're talking about is a cosplay group? Well, sort of, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll get to it then. All right, since we're going off the rails anyway, what is some of the stupidest, useless superpowers? What superhero or story arc would you like to fish. wipe from history and why? I'll let you Ink first. from Young X-Men. What? Ink was uh, recruited by Cyclops, and he had tattoos on him that gave him superpowers. And he was not a mutant himself. He got the superpowers because the tattoo artist <laughs> was a mutant. And... He would ask you what what you want and why you want these tattoos and stuff, and your story would uh, make him make the tattoos, and then the power would go in into those tattoos. So Ink on the X Men had like a tattoo Dude. of like a cross or something that he can touch, and it'll make and heal somebody. I had no he could idea touch it, that and he could touch in somebody's ill. He had part of the Phoenix Force on him, but. Every time he used the power, it took more energy from him and stuff, and the more tattoos he got. And the guy got to a point where he had the phoenix powers in him, and he used that, and the tattoo artist turned in, went uh, comatose. And if he wakes up, the guy loses all his powers. That really expands, it that expands the whole mutant ability yeah. thing, because it's like, who knows? Like, you might become a barista at Starbucks, and you find out that, like, everyone who drinks your, you know, coffees that you make grows back in limbs. Yeah. And it's shit. Op- Unfortunately, like, paraplegics are walking again. It's opposite, like, hey. it's opposite rogue. We'll, we'll see what he does, but Ink is in the next X-Men movie. And then you just happen to be, mm-hmm. you happen to be a mutant whose urine, like, is a strong poison, and it depletes you the more people drink it. So everyone, it contaminates the whole water supply, everyone starts dying. Okay, so Aquaman. You get weak. Okay, so Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Feed the fish. All right. I also oh, right. Aquaman. I I've got one and I'm I'm just I just it's so good and it needs to be talked about and I'm blanking now. He was the guy that was like, "Oh, Super Twins." The Wonder Twins. The Wonder, the Wonder, Wonder Twins. Twins uh, and the guy his oh, he's just turned, to turn into elements. Water. Turn into wire. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to splash the wicked witch of the west what? or something, you know? Because what he can do different stages of water, different uh he could be cool different advice. matter. Stay cool. Every time states. I thought he different was states lame. Of, different states of matter, he could be like a sword <laughs> made of ice. How did he right. make the bucket and the bucket of water? That's true. That's a good point. You know what? He should have yeah, I think should. Tweak just always carried oh, around. Tweak. You know what he should have done? He should have made a little sponge. Wait, so not Tweak. Like, oh, what was his name? Was that, that was so bad. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Wonder Twin Powers, activate! <laughs> so I don't remember the name of the little kid, okay. but there's the, the little youngster uh, hero's power pack. You remember them? It was like the youngest toddler kid. He had seemed like he was useless. All he was is he wound up in peril all the time <laughs> so that the other kids would have to rescue him. So uh, I, I, we once came up with useless X-Men power because we always thought, well, it, mutations are random. How is it that you're getting all these cool powers? Wouldn't you get something kind of stupid sometimes? Yes. So we came up with the idea of like the guy who instead of like claws, he has scoops come out of his hands. <laughs> Can't really do anything, just like scoop ice cream. And then there's the guy whose skin turns into newspaper. <laughs> and that's it. And there was one more, but I don't remember what it was. But oh, he shoots coffee from his fingers, but it's cold coffee. Well, it's kind of it's, it's kind of like Mystery Men. There's the Fury. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Totally useless superpower. Uh, I have to say one story arc that I, I wish would dis- disappeared was uh, when Superman in the '90s went uh, to Superman Blue and Superman Red. Oh, what happened? Because then? what was happened that Pokemon was Pokemon or something. No, Superman. Yeah, <laughs> Superman temporarily lost his ability to absorb um, the sun. Uh, so uh, he started getting. He lost that. and He got the ability to absorb electricity, and because of that, oh, he turned that. blue and he got this new electricity suit. And the worst thing of it was. DC stood behind it like, this is the new Superman. <laughs> this is where we're going. This oh, is no, Superman. That was, a co- that was a new Coke play. And then, they, never, <laughs> was they never intended to keep it. And uh, they split into red, and they both love Lois Lane, and they fell apart, and they finally got to... Wait, 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 who was red? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, one extends? 
That was up to you. We, we only got two more. So yeah. All right. I want to know where it is. Check the show notes. Check the show notes. All right. Uh, if you could be a superhero, what would it be? Now, this has to be brought up, told ahead of time. We took a quiz beforehand that asked us some questions <laughs> on the internet and uh, told us who super, what superhero we are. I'm 85% Batman. Okay. And Paul? <laughs> I'm 80% Superman. <laughs> I am 80% Spider-Man, <laughs> and I'm not Robin. Twenty-five <laughs> percent. I am seventy-five percent Superman, seventy-five percent Spider-Man, which means one hundred and fifty percent man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> I, I can't do the math on that right now, but it's not quite right. I think you'd still be about seventy percent man. Wait, wait. If, <laughs> if you took a letter, if I'm you... only seventy-five percent of a man to start with. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I think it's complicated. Okay, so uh, that's what we got now. Now I want to go around and ask, who would you like to be superhero wise? So, Kale, come back to me. <laughs> come back, back to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Come back. I, I'm going to beat you up, but you know what? I'm going to do it later. It's carrier, <laughs> carrier pigeon guy. No, actually, he comes home. <laughs> actually, I do think that if out of the superheroes, I would like to be Batman. Not Iron Man. Huh? Oh shit! Why didn't I get that? <laughs> Iron of course, man. that's it. Iron Man, of course. One hundred percent Iron Man. I'm sorry, I blanked. Out. I had a brain it's okay. fart I thought there. I was Robin Just for a while think there. of the like sexual partners you could build for yourself. If yeah, you oh. if I was Iron Man, <laughs> right. I could build anything. I, I, I mean, not that he needs <laughs> to build sexual partners. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I, am, I am cucumber. Oh. I am cucumber oh. fart guy because I didn't mean that for that to come out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it still does not hold a candle to Daryl. Sorry. Hey, uh, By the I'll, way, I'll we got a they come to the top of the stairs for me and bend over. <laughs> okay, Paul, superhero. Uh, I would like to be Spider Man. Oh, dude, that's who I want to be. Okay, I'll be. Um, no, we can both be Spider Man. Okay, we'll be Spider Man. We'll be the Spider Twins. <laughs> Spider Twins. <laughs> Spider Twins. Spider Activate and you're like. Be a lot of fun yeah, one of you no, I'll be Spider Man 2099. Oh, okay. You can yeah, be a regular Spider Man. That's cool. All right. What about you, Darren? Right. Um. Oh my gosh, because there was, I, I think like I'm thinking of the most powerful ones. Maybe the Beyonder. The only thing is that he couldn't relate to people, yeah. which is kind of a problem. So. Given that, probably the second most powerful character in all of the Marvel Universe, Molecule Man, because he could control matter. I mean, what other badass, like, what can you not do if you control matter? What about Galactus? Well, yeah, he, he could, like, take Galactus and go, you know. Really? Well, did he in theory. Sp- did he just spooge on him? <laughs> that might be a good thing. <laughs> like, he would, he would take Galactus to the top of the stairs. <laughs> Bend him over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, uh, Kale, why don't you go into uh, the cosplay group or this group of superheroes? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a, a group called the uh, Real Life Superheroes, and there are about 200 people across the United States that actually dress up in costumes and walk our like streets losers. and try to prevent <laughs> crime. Why are you doing that? Like, help you're <laughs> more geek than any of us here. <laughs> I know, I'm going to... The guy who actually That's, wears the costume. Oh, so wait. Self-deprecating humor. Yeah. But wait a second. That's what it is. Um, these guys actually are not just cops, but they're actually trying to fight crime? They do, and they That's actually have received injuries, and uh, although... What Very kick-ass like. Do the parents... And, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, do they yeah, they their parents insurance? Well, and, there's the, the main guy right now that everybody kind of loves. Is He's uh, Phoenix Jones is the his superhero. <laughs> I'm <guy>. Phoenix Jones! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and he actually is black. But the thing is, is that <laughs> actually, he, actually, actually, <clears throat> really, and uh, so he's actually. I'm a giant bitch. Wait, there was this guy extends extends. Okay, right. that there was this guy that uh, went to interview him, and during their walk around, they came across these crack dealers, and the crack dealers were actually <laughs> threatening them, threatening them with guns. Oh, dude! And you know, not taking them out, but like, yeah, getting ready sure. to, and they wouldn't back down from them. And so finally, the crack dealer's like, well, this is really not worth it. It's it's what, 3 o'clock in the morning. Wait, this was on ahead. film? Yeah. They was on camera. There actually is going to be a film come out this August I mean, they were, they about were these guys. They the crack dealers. No, 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 no. This oh. guy was a reporter. Oh, okay. But they, they've made a film now about these guys, and it's going to come out in Are August. their costumes, like, silly looking? Not, uh, because Phoenix looks like Jones looks pretty cool. Some of them look a little weird and silly. But, uh, like, Phoenix Jones' costume so looks what, really cool. Why does this group make me think of, like, the real, real-life real Watchmen? Yeah. Because yeah. it's, you know, this, a bunch of masked that. people See, getting out there and fighting crime. Come on, well, so. the thing is, if you can combine this group... Damn it. If you can combine this group with the some of the people that 
uh, Stan Lee found in his series. Yeah. That's mm. what he looks like. Minus Dr. Manhattan, because he was actual yeah. superpower. But no, right. if you combine fact, this... He's kind of like well, that, that is kind of cool. molecule. Yeah. Yeah. Is kind of yeah. Yeah. But you know what? If uh, you uh, take this group and you find some of the people that Stan Lee found and you put them in there who have kind of real superpowers, yeah. it might be might fun. become something. Well, right? the thing is is that I think that the, these crack dealers and stuff are only going to put up with these people for a, a little while and then just to show everybody hey stop f mess stop messing with us they're you know they're gonna kill them they'll be super villains you know they're actually gonna probably kill these guys but but he uh like got hit with a baseball bat cracked one of his ribs and <laughs> daryl from now on i don't want you to so. beep our on this episode don't beep our f-words put a messing <laughs> wait what <laughs> don't what when, when someone says like don't, don't f mess but then you put in Miss, you know, like don't don't mess. so it's like it's like, hey, don't mess with me, like. <laughs> really bad, like really bad job. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so well, why the mess would I do that? Interesting. Okay, our last section here is what's the deal with sidekicks? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> what the well, hell? They you are how many percent, Robin? I yeah. know uh, you are Robin. Except you were for Robin's one, kicks, just two things. Super cock I was far too much Robin. Robin the Robin. Uh, I, but yeah, what is with sidekicks? I mean, uh, well, they some, always, they, they're never like partners. They're always, no, but Batman likes little boys. Apparently. <laughs> In tights. Did Robin become uh, uh, Nightwing? Nightwing. Yeah. You see, he's and on he his own. Cool. And he was actually cool. And he was cool. It was the sidekicks. There is a real explanation <laughs> of why they actually put uh, the sidekicks in and why it was at that time is because at the time that they put them in, they were really trying to appeal to young kids. Yeah. Oh. And so they, they brought in the this secondary young character yeah, that they thought may have it, that's, appealed to them. That's the proxy of the audience. Like, like you're supposed to be dog. Right? Well, you you're know, hanging out with this really cool Batman Yeah, but nobody guy. wants to be Robin. But hold on. There's another... Well, if, you're, if you young go back to... Dumb, the, you might want to be. <laughs> full of um, ideas. Let's say uh, if we go back to the idea of the hero's quest uh, and the, those type of archetypes, there's also the idea of the mentor and the apprentice. True. So that might fit Young in there Padawan. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe that fits in there too with the sidekicks. Like Aquaman, Aqualad. Yeah, but if yeah, the, and if it we need to find a hero's to, journey on, on. Yeah, the beginning of their journey. But like Robin became Nightwing, so that kind of no. Worked. What I'm saying is, is almost, except for Nightwing, and and, and actually Batman didn't happen. help him become Nightwing. Yeah. He had to break away and so beat it, that. So it should yeah. be that way, but it's not. It's not. Maybe in the future they always keep the sidekicks down until they well, people get tired of them and then they just disappear. We, we need to make a list of sidekicks. So we don't really know. Well, they get killed. One of the things on Smallville was Are some of the sidekicks or sidekicks. The sidekicks came in every once in a while on Smallville, and I had to look them up because we don't know the sidekicks. But we'll probably put a list on show notes. Can you guys yeah. name any other? You said Aqualad, uh, like Superboy. Was there? Really uh, well, here's here's just if you can hold that thought for a second. One of the things that happens, like you're talking about the mentorship, is some superheroes that are live behind a mask. They're kind of like the Dread Pirate Roberts, where they get replaced by someone else later on. So sometimes they want to have their young protege yeah. fill their shoes later on. So like that's <laughs> why it's young, that's Robin. why they're younger, <laughs> and later on once they know all the skills, they can become Batman or whoever because they you know. That's a good idea, but it doesn't happen very often. Paul? Right. Uh, I was thinking of the Incredibles when you had um, I forget the the villain in it, but when he was a kid, he oh, wanted yeah. to be the sidekick to Mr. Right. Incredible, that's and right. he told him he says, "I don't want you're not a sidekick. I will." Oh, that's alone. right. And right. That, psyched him out he was such held mr incredible in such high esteem you know up on a pedestal he's just this this his hero and he just shoved him down turned him in turned him into a super villain yeah and to get revenge oh, later that's kind of like that reminds me uh what was that cartoon uh mega brain or whatever mega oh, mind, mega mind. Mega mind. he actually awesome. turns into a superhero from being a awesome, super villain awesome that was really thanks excellent. for the spoiler well no that's kind of the idea behind right, well, it. i never saw it the uh, other sidekicks, sorry, uh, Darth, it's right. wings. I've been spoiled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems sidekicks work better in comedies than they do in superheroes. Well, know. speaking of that, I always look at... The tick. If you want to have an easy way to explain... <laughs> <Yeah>. Arthur. <laughs> What the weird story bend is in Big Trouble in Little China. Not that it's a superhero. Oh, movie, I do like that. But the idea is that I think very simplistically is you you have 
the movie is told from the point of view of Jack Burton, who thinks he's the hero, but he's actually the sidekick. That's awesome. Because the his friend Wang, the Asian guy, is kicking everyone's yeah. ass. He's the real hero. Well, that's kind of I like, want to uh, watch it again. Yeah. That's kind of like the Green yeah. Hornet. I mean, you know, Bruce Lee is Cato. He was the one kicking everybody's ass. Yeah, yeah. You know, true. And what did what did the true. Green Hornet had a gas gun? It's like yeah. Punch and John. He like funded. He he, he was like the Kickstarter campaign. They had superpowers because they could dance like anybody. Seventies. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So yeah, sidekicks suck. But they could be made. But they, cool. they know, you know, some of the sidekicks like I always saw Batman with Robin. Oh, is, this is the break. Slip Robin. What? Oh, is that he slip Robin. But um, this, almost this like Batman was giving Robin. Uh, the us. childhood or uh, the support that he never got because break? his parents died. Ten minute break. So he was kind of I don't know. How All right. He thought how he. Okay, we're raised. ding. That sucked, isn't it? Put a ding. Yeah, in. Well, you know, I can see that. Well, we were past four minutes. Even had, if it's but even it if it's not put a, can you correct, put one minute on. Give me one minute. One minute. Give you one. Somehow helped him become Nightwing too. Yeah. Uh, wait, what as soon as you tell me one, on one minute, we'll do the ding. Keep going. And then the yeah, new 13, Teen Titans, 13. which he, you know, joined and kind of led, they were all kind of sidekicks. Oh, Robin, yeah, you get the whole you know? sidekicks. I'm, they I were added, all the sidekicks of, of everybody. All right, apologies there to was the a great, uh, I comic. added a 10 minute break in the middle of this. I don't know how I did, did it. Did the one minute start? Uh, one minute started. Ding! Okay. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. That was Superheroes! And okay, it was two minutes. So my, my bad. Oh, no, I don't have to hurry. So oh, it's one minute. Okay, 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 superheroes! And I just repeated myself. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed episode 40. Uh, we are going to now... Oh, yeah, 57 minutes. Amazing. Wow, have we ever been under an hour? Yeah, we've done that a couple times. Um, right. Daryl, next week, you. What is our topic that you said we probably wouldn't have guessed? Our topic for next week is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FUD. <laughs> oh fud. Don't fud. don't fud with us. Yeah, All right, fud. I like that. That sounds pretty oh, good okay. actually. Well, just just the idea behind it is uh how the media attempts to scare the populace oh, and how there. a lot of new ideas are, you know, shunned and just the whole idea of how documentaries also kind of steer that direction like the scurry music starts up when we talk about the, the uncertain okay. future. Okay. Okay, so I'm Joey Shamel. And I'm Paul Hottinger. Kale Anderson. And Daryl George. You can find me at George.com. G-I-O-R-S. And we'd like to say, <laughs> see ya! <laughs> da, 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 da. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Did we miss anything? You can reach us at show at IamRambling.com. Stuff and then be sure to send us things. Yeah. Meanwhile. No. No, I won't. What is it? Mean. No, Daryl. Meanwhile, the Legion of Doom. Woo. The Legion. Oh, what a rush. Oh. The Legion of Doom looks like Darth Vader's helmet. Or Snake Mountain. Hey, the bell went off. Stop. Thank you.